We have a four minute dynamic warm up here. We're gonna start with a knee hug to leg extension. You're gonna bring that knee right towards your chest, then fully extend that leg and bring it behind you. You got 30 seconds each leg. From there, we got a hip internal and external rotation. Knees up, you're just bringing it into that 90 degree uh, rotation and then going right back to that starting point. You got 30 seconds each leg here. From there, we'll take it into a full body rotation. Just really activating those core muscles, getting that body moving. You got 30 seconds each leg, swinging that arm. And lastly, we got a five point squat. You're gonna sit those hips back, reach for your toes, one leg, one arm goes up at a time, stand up tall, five points, one minute for that last exercise. You got four minutes, let's get warmed up. team eight minutes in this lower body block coach Javi are you excited? I'm excited good because so am I starting off with a sumo goblet squat so those feet are a little wider than hip width apart slight turnout of the toes weight is right at the chest and the hips back and then you're powering back up 
Next exercise, you are going to lose the weight. We have a speed skater lunge. So you're focusing on moving nice and wide here, but engaging your core to keep you nice and stable. Option, take out that jump, take a nice step forward to the side, and then bring that knee up. Two rounds of the first two exercises, and then we're going to move on to the next two exercises. A forearm plank, alternating leg lift. So a nice, strong plank on the forearms, engaging your core. You're going to have a little range of motion here, focusing on sending the heel up towards the ceiling. Option here, take the hands onto the mat into a high plank position. Then you have a power sit up with rotation. So arms and legs are extended, hands are behind the head. You're sitting all the way up, shoulder blades do come off the mat, and you're rotating. As you rotate, make sure you pause before you lower back down, because you are in control of your core. Two Two rounds of those last two exercises, and if you have time, you're gonna complete all four exercises in one block. A minute, team. Let's go ahead and get to it.
Okay, team, it's time to think about interval training. We know and love this all too well. It's the push, it's the base, and of course, the all-out effort. So think about if you were inside the studio, it's the same exact intensity and feeling of it. It's eight minutes in this block, 45 seconds for each interval. We're gonna perform this for two rounds. You ready to dive into it? Let's do it. Let's do what we do. All right, kick it off with our push pace. It feels uncomfortable, squat jacks. So coach, slide on his feet, popping his feet out to the side, squatting down in the middle. Option, slow down the pace and just step it out to one side, perform your squat, same thing on the opposite side. Base pace, challenging but doable. The green zone, alternating reverse lunges with our floor tap. Chest is up, stepping behind you and also touching the floor. Option, shorten the range of motion by touching the top of your leg, just like that. After base uh, is push pace. Let's kick it right back up. Heart rate's elevated, broad jump with the shuffle. Coach is jumping out as far as he can and shuffle right back. If this isn't for you, you need an option, that's fine. It's a big step, your tempo shuffling right back. Base pace to follow, green zone, squat to alternating leg lift. Feet right underneath your hips, good quality squat, Hit sitting heavy in your heels, lead with your heels as you lift your leg out and squeeze the outside part of your hip. We're ready for this. The energy's been building. It's all out. Let's see what you have. It's high knees, legs, arms, everything's working here. Bring your knees to your chest. Option is just march in place, going at your tempo. Interval training does the body good.
Seven minute lower body block coming up here. We're gonna start with a plank jack to pop jack. So Carl, you're just gonna uh, get face down on that mat. You're gonna jump those feet out, really limit that range of motion, and then jump forward, land on those heels. As an option, toe tap on that plank jack, and then just walk your feet forward one at a time. From there, we'll go into a chair tap front squat. You're gonna grab onto two objects here. You're gonna hold them up by your chest. Slowly bring those hips down. You're just tapping the chair and popping right back up. From there, we'll go into a deadlift. Same weight, we're going at tempo. Three counts going down, one count going up. Sit those hips back, you're hinging at the hip, keeping those objects as close to your legs as possible. You got seven minutes, go ahead and take off.
All right, team, we have four minutes in this block. You're going to give me four rounds of two exercises, 20 seconds of work, then you get to catch your breath for 10 seconds. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Starting off with that lateral bear crawl. So you're in that tabletop position, three steps out, three steps back. That is one rep, moving nice, slow, and controlled in the movement. Option here is to hold that lateral bear plank position for 20 seconds. Then moving into a seated torso rotation. So you're gonna need one weight for that, holding it right at the chest. You're keeping those feet planted. You're giving me a slight lean, engaging that core, rotating right, rotating left, following with that eyesight. So we have four minutes of work. Let's knock it out. Hey! Congratulations, you guys have made it to the end of this workout. All we have left is four minutes of flexibility, 20 seconds of each. John's going to start down on the mat, his hands next to his side, and then keeping the chest up tall, hips on the ground, going for that cobra to stretch through the core. If you need to go a little bit lower, 
completely fine. Your option is always to take it a little bit lower if you need to. Next up is that walking downward dog. So getting hands underneath the shoulders, press the hips back, and then alternate which heel reaches to the floor. So you can alternate which side of the body is stretching your calves as well as your hamstrings. You have another 20 seconds here. And then taking one foot forward, another foot back for a runner's lunge with an overhead uh, reach. You're going to reach up and out of your hips first, grow through that spine, and then hinge a little bit over to the side to stretch through your side body. 20 seconds on each side. Seated hurdlers lunge, coming all the way down onto the butt. One foot extends out, the other one comes in. Again, reach and grow through the spine first, then hinge over. Really try to feel that stretch through the hamstring. 20 seconds on each side. Your final exercise is going to be a seated figure four stretch. So laying down on the back, cross one ankle over the knee, and then thread those hands through. Try to pull that leg towards your body, keeping the lower back and head and neck relaxed down onto the floor. 20 seconds on each side. You earned this flexibility block. Let's get at it. Just a little old fashioned, looking for a real connection. It's the bottom of the glass and I'm running up for a second. I'm a track and it's a night full of second chances. Second chances Just a little more dancing A little more taking chances Just a little more glancing A little more more advancing Just a little more dancing A little more less for granted Just a little more dancing A little more dancing Haven't found the Take 